evaluating babies, I'll be honest, it's mostly a vibe thing. If you consider, say, an interview context, let's just say a senior enough director, VP, SVP type role. The challenge is these babies, they know how to talk the talk and walk the walk, which is why they reach the level where you're talking to them for a very, very senior role. So there isn't necessarily going to be a, like you ask this question and if they answer this question in this manner, then that means they're a baby versus that means they're a well-formed adult. It doesn't work that way. But there are a lot of cues along the way, which is why companies and people can do this well. The cues along the way are babies are petty and they can't help show their pettiness. Babies are impulsive and they can't help but show their impulsiveness. Babies are self-centered and they can't help but show their self-centeredness. That will come across in a sufficiently rigorous interview process for a sufficiently wise, experienced, well-formed adult leader who's hiring for the senior role. You will see aspects of those characteristics in an individual. Now the question is, what do you do when you see those aspects? Some of their other objective qualities and accomplishments and even performance in the interview looks great. And therein lies the rub because it is an extremely difficult choice for a leader who's hiring for this important role on their team to disqualify an objectively highly qualified candidate because they showed signs of being a baby. And that is why we have babies at all levels of the corporate hierarchy. There is no great solution here. The question about how to evaluate babies is a valid question, but it's not the most interesting question. The most interesting question is what do you do when you encounter a baby who just looks spectacular on a bunch of objective criteria that you have set? And I'm not going to tell you what to do. That's a decision for you to make as a well-formed adult. But I would say sit with that question for a while because ultimately your choice there will decide your company's culture. And it is that crucial, especially if you're a senior leader or founder or CEO.